All right, now we're good. Cool. Um, as we all know, it's the Lord's Day. Happy Shy Guy Saturday to everybody. That's the main reason we're here. But as promised, the next unboxing for today, and um, this one should be a relatively simple one. I can't imagine an unboxing I would do that could be any shorter than this one. Because, oh boy, these are hard to open. I don't want to ruin it either. There we go. This is just Tetris. Well, it is. It's quite literally just Tetris. That's it. Just Tetris. <laughs> At least last time, were they simple arcade games? But also classics, of course. Yes. But there were six of them on Namco 64. This is just Tetris. The new Tetris. Yet another box that my parents found in their attic a couple weeks back. Exciting, exciting, exciting. This one is not nearly in as good condition. As you can see, there's a, a rip there. Uh, some folds here and there. Overall, there's much worse boxes out there. This is essentially the only damaged spot. There's some folds and creases. Oh no, there's a rip here too. Right at the bottom. But yeah. Cool box. Um, I never, I didn't play this one that much, although I did play it. There I go, open it from the wrong side again. It's probably better that this side is the open side, because it's a much better shape on this side. But yeah, I can't imagine an unboxing being shorter than this one, because it's quite literally just Tetris. Like, I mean, what could they possibly say in the instruction booklet? That would take up too much time. Either way, let's see. There's your game. Another one in good condition. I take care of my stuff. Except for that brief, like, five-year period with GameCube games where I just... Instead of putting them back in the case, I just throw them on the ground and they would sit there for a month at a time as I cycled through games because I was a menace from, God, I don't know, the ages of like 10 to 15 probably. Not my proudest moment, but they still all function with the exception of Smash, had to buy a new one, but that's a, that's a different console. We're talking about the new Tetris today. Back then, before that time, I took good care of my stuff. That's in good shape. Then of course, the box already shown a little bit on the back here you know with special new moves additional ways to score and room for up to four players simultaneously probably groundbreaking at the time i would imagine or a spin move can't on the shape use the hold piece instead you know all the usual tetris stuff and not not all of them at least i don't think all of them i don't have the manual for, for all of them but i do have the manual for this one in decent shape so that was all the pages together that's an accomplishment. Looks like somebody like just repeatedly stabbed this though. There's just like random rips here. I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't the most mentally stable. I'm not the most mentally stable person now, but I guess I wasn't back then either. Ah uh, yes, how to hold the Nintendo 64 controller. We already know that. You need three hands. Let's see. It's really not... It just tells you how to play Tetris. That's it. You know, some cool, like, block artwork and Tetramino artwork, all that fun stuff there. The new Tetris was always a vibe, though. Like, it's it just looks nice. It's a good-looking game. Like, just something casual to play with people. It's like, yo, 1v1 me in Tetris. And most of the time, people just say, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> but, and rightfully so. It's just like, there's so many other things you could 1v1 people in. But that's me. I love my retro stuff. And that's pretty much it. There's absolutely nothing to this one. Like I said, this one was going to be a short one. That's kind of why I put it into Shy Guy Saturday, because as we all know, today is dedicated to that guy. We can do other stuff, but primarily it's dedicated to that guy. All right, that's all I got. That's literally all we got on the new Tetris. And stream starting now.